Guys, it's me, Karn Zettos, a Capricorn Knife Hood, and I'm going to do some uh, stat lines so far in my iRacing career. So, it all started last Thanksgiving in November when I was doing this Black Friday thing, and I really needed to get a steering wheel, like, to start my iRacing journey. So, instead of being in the Xbox, I decided to go PC style and get it for like three hundred dollars and stuff along with a gas pedal and brake and clutch so as i have in front of you is my licenses for each track so a class oval c class road and then dirt oval and dirt road i don't think i'll rarely touch those two disciplines as I continue to make laps around each track. So, as you can see, my time trial rating has not been moved so far because I rarely use time trial mode to actually improve my lap times. But, anyways, with oval and road, my I rating is not that hot because. Usually, when I'm running so well and then all of a sudden my computer freezes, it's because the game crashed and it's not indicative of how well I'm running based on my results, but I'm not going to like tell you all these sample races that I've ran, like Dover, Talladega, Charlotte, you name them. Those kind of tracks I might excel, even with 30 people per split and to be honest this is what I've been chasing so as you guys know I have two nieces Gabby and Alex if they see me do some eye racing with a bunch of adults and they hear my audio I hope I can block it out and they don't have to hear it but I, there's no way I can change the audio off the PC, so I'll put that out of the way. So, so other stats, days active don't mean much versus the last 30 days, nope. And then the streak, this one's important because depending on how many weeks I've ran, 11 weeks is a lot and Basically, when I'm actually, uh, when I'm actually out there getting I rating points, they should help. And the best get 100 I rating per race. And I'm not there yet. I'm just a rookie. I'm just trying to long laps. That's all. So, anyways. That's the left side of my stat line. Here's the right side. So I'm only going to show you road course since I basically can't fit everything in there. So basically most of the time I do oval tracks. So number starts 212, two wins, 23 top fives, two poles, average start is 10th. Average spin is 11th, total laps 7,439 laps, laps led 40, average incident per race 2 point, oh uh, not 2, 4.32, and it doesn't mean much, it's just only for safety rating purposes, and then average points per race 27, which is solid. Winning percentage, almost 1%, but I'm trying to win more races in my lower split as the competition has died down and all that people want to do is wreck each other. So I have to capitalize on that. And then top 5% is almost 11%. I'd be satisfied with that if I were you. It doesn't matter if it's 20 cars, 40 cars, you name them. 
I always find a way to get the top five finish out of it. And then left slide percentage, how about five tenths of a uh, percent. And then total club points, 137 points. I don't focus on that, but yeah. And if when I met road courses, you're going to see a lot of goose eggs. Zero wins, zero poles. Top five is maybe a little bit, but ever start, ever finish, that doesn't mean much. And I never let a lap. Green flag laps. Um, that's why oval is indicative or relevant to why I chose iRacing in the first place. Just to get my feet wet and get used to the competition online and and e-racing or what do people say e-nascar racer or something but uh, if i ever had to show you race by race of how i'm doing i'll tell you but but for next week i'll be in sonoma raceway and then next week, the following week, will be Nashville Super Speedway. So I'm excited about that. So that's basically it on my opinion or my fat line of how great I'm doing. You know, I didn't want my expectations to be that high. But anyways, it's just what it is. So. I'll build off of that. I can play with my safety ring a bit. So it's at the license class that I'm supposed to be. So I'm not in the way. So then that's basically it. So I make a happy car. Hope you all have a great day and peace out.